Good morning world. It's a little bit uh, close to noon and I am defying the truism that you have to have a car. Uh, I am happily car free and I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> People say, oh, I could never do it without my car. Well, I'm going to show you that you can. I'm walking down this steep windy hill in Forestville and I'm going to look for the bus number 20 and I'll let you know when I get it. One problem is there's no sidewalk so you have to be very careful around these blind curves. But hey, there are buses, trains, and smart train, and Uber. So, and walking. I walk um, a lot more than when I'm renting cars. So here we go, down the hill to the Russian River. You know what's funny? So many times I thought about walking down this hill and I'm like, oh, I can't do it, I'm gonna get run over, oh my God. And it's been quite pleasant. It's a hot day. And here in Forestville, this road is completely shaded. Almost totally, I'd say 80% shaded. Um, and it's been quite pleasant down to River Road. So, next thing, walk to the bus stop. We'll see. So I'm extremely early for the bus. <laughs> but I have to say, a uh, little known fact, people don't realize that uh, you can actually be early when you take um, Uber buses, trains, walking. I'm always early. Um, and I had an interesting conversation with a guy that almost died in a car accident. The car crushed him that he was in. And they said he they thought he was dead so you know that doesn't I just wanted to kind of uh, to talk about when you're on your own traveling because you don't end up having conversations like that usually if you're with other people with people you don't know so the thing about solo travel too is that it's something to try and stay solo <laughs> I mean that guy was walking on the road too just like me but he was fishing with five children oh my god uh no wait i think it was three anyway next stop waiting for about a half hour for the bus but that's okay i can relax i'm taking the bus for the first time <laughs> i'm so glad you came so you know what the bus ride was fun but now i'm going home on uber good driving we all relaxed. Yeah, I'm relaxed. I decided I didn't want to walk up the highway. <laughs> no. <laughs> this feels luxurious. Thank you. Update from the happily car-free topic. <laughs> okay, so being out in the middle of nowhere, it's a little harder and you have to wait longer for an Uber, but that's okay. Um, it's a holiday, so the buses aren't running. I had a delightful time meeting a lovely lady who's been driving the bus for 27 years. Boy, was she sharp. Um, so you just start making different choices about where you live, your habits of where you go. It's kind of more European because they don't have cars either. Um, and your life is a little bit simpler and you can have that glass of wine for lunch because you don't have to drive or park. So there you go. So yesterday was an adventure. Uh, bus, Uber, walking. So you can do it. So I'll see you in the next video.